All right, this video is going to show you how to be able to hook up your PS4 slash Xbox controller to the Steam app so that you can play your games. I've had a few people ask me over the last few days uh, about how to go on about doing that. So first you want to click on this controller icon, which is basically big picture mode. And, and when it comes up here, you're going to want to click on this gear icon, which is your settings. Uh, go down to controller settings right here. And mine is already checked because I already have it set. But for your first time, it won't be checked. Uh, if it's not checked, uh, make sure that your controller is not plugged into the computer yet. Um, whatever controller you have, PS4 or Xbox, um, click it which in this case I have a PS4 one, you click it and then you're able to plug in your controller into a USB port and when you do uh, down here if it's detected it, it should say what controller it is my case is a PlayStation 4 uh, sometimes it'll say Xbox uh, sometimes it'll say generic gamepad um, and then once you once it is detected uh, then you know you have it you know plugged in correctly now sometimes I go further and then I click identify that pretty much will vibrate your controller that lets you know that the connection is there uh, you got preferences here you can change the color you know of the light on your uh, on your game pass so in this case I have a PS4 controller a wireless one so right now mine is set to blue but if I want to change it to a darker blue I can or if I want to change it to a yellow or a red, I could do that as well. Of course, you hit submit. And then, then you know, the color is changed. Um, and once you do that, if you want to set it up, I personally go to the game that I want to set it up with. So I'm going to use this one, for example, uh, because I use the controller really heavily here. So I'm going to go to manage game. Going to go to controller configuration. And this is where you set it up. Now, it's not going to look like this because mine is already set to the way I want it. But let's say you want to start setting up your your left bumper, which for for this game is L1. You know, I click on L1, or I'll highlight L1 by using your directional arrows. Just keep scrolling around until you hit it, and once you hit it, press Enter, and likely there will be something right here clear that out clear that out and then you see this gamepad over here uh, again use your arrows and highlight the same thing that you're trying to bind so if you pressed or if you highlighted the L1 button in the previous screen highlight the L1 button here as well when you do that press enter and it's set and then you could just go back and then just just keep doing the same thing for every single button out here you know you want to map every single button. you don't want to leave nothing untouched uh, and like I said for everything you do like you know let's say if you want to um, map like let's say the triangle button like so you have to keep scrolling until you can get it so like it's highlighted here okay click enter here's where you can map it you know you know that you know for PlayStation 4 this is triangle square X circle so you you know you click it when you click it you press the, the triangle button you know on your PS4 on your PS4 controller or you press Y on your Xbox controller and then all the way around once you're done with that click enter go back and then it's set and you just pretty much keep doing that all the way around um, until it's done and that's pretty much how you configure your whole entire controller at least for this game uh, and you could do it uh, per game as well so like I have multiple games up here and I could set them up for all these games if I want to I don't touch these games too much uh, because I use keyboard for these games but um, definitely driving games you would want to do that for so 
Uh, if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment, and I'll try to help you out the best I can. I only know about PS4 controller. Uh, I tried hooking up my Xbox One controller, and I had a little bit more issue with it, but uh, nothing that couldn't be fixed. So, again, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. And that's pretty much how you do it. I mean, it's not that hard to do, so...